cancer, which is the C word. Uh, it's not as scary perhaps as it used to be, but it can still be very frightening. Dr. Sanjay Gupta and Katie Couric are helping highlight what Houston's MD Anderson Cancer Center is doing for humanity and helping raise money for colon cancer research. This is a subject close to Katie Couric's heart after losing her husband to the disease. Actually, I'm here to celebrate the extraordinary work that's being done on a daily basis here at MD Anderson. This is one of the premier cancer centers in the world, and I'm so flattered that they invited me to share a little of my story and to talk about my specific work, not only with colon cancer, but with Stand Up to Cancer, and just sort of, um, you know, what's going on in cancer research today and what's going on in cancer advocacy as well. Cork was the force behind the unprecedented fundraising effort Stand Up to Cancer, which we aired here on Fox 26 along with other networks. Doctors, researchers and recording artists all came together to raise funds for new cancer therapies and raked in $180 million in pledges. You were able to help raise so much money through Stand Up for Cancer. How did you even come up with the idea that, and, and for something to go so global and to help so many different people? I think it was sort of a coming together of a lot of women who were frustrated with the pace of cancer research. When you think that one in every two men, one in every three women will be diagnosed with cancer in his or her lifetime, one person dies every minute in this country from some kind of cancer. We just thought, let's make this more of a grassroots effort. Let's kind of flood the airwaves with stories about cancer because you can't really, it's impossible to find someone who hasn't been touched by this disease. Dr. Sanjay Gupta says Katie Couric helped bridge the gap between journalism and public health. He's also a big fan of MD Anderson after spending almost a year here for a documentary. What we found interesting as we traveled around the country was that MD Anderson was different. It was a place where uh, doctors communicated differently, where clinical trials were much more accessible, where patients did not feel like they were another number or a guinea pig or some sort of experimental subject. So MD Anderson to you, even from everything you've seen with your family members, a very special place. It, it, it's a great place and even as a practicing neurosurgeon still, I still send patients here from Atlanta, for example, or from New York. Uh, and um, because, uh, you know, I think it, it's not to say that, that it's a place of last hope because they take care of a lot of patients who have great hope and will do just fine. But it's a place where I think um, uh, there, there'll be no stones left unturned. And I think that's what that, that peace of mind I think is so valuable uh, as a patient. And I've seen my mother go through this uh, that it's it's just really hard to put a put a put a price on. The new president of MD Anderson couldn't agree more. One of the things that I'm most proud about being the new president of MD Anderson is that MD Anderson is the place with the greatest hope for cure. We are about hope, and it's realized hope. This is not simply an idea. We actually do it each and every day. We treat over 100,000 patients every year, 10,000 patients on innovative, life-saving <laughs> clinical trials. There is simply no match to that potential on the planet, and I'm extremely proud to be part of that institution. He's also proud to honor Katie Couric with the Making Cancer History Award for her compassion and dedication to make life better for those dealing with the challenges of cancer.